Fasting in Islam, known as Sam, Sam Arabic pronunciation, SWEM or Siam, Siam Arabic pronunciation, SIJ -m, the Arabic words for fasting, also commonly known as Ruza or Roza, Persian, Rouge in some Muslim countries, is the practice of abstaining, usually from food and drink. The observance of Sam during the Islamic holy month of Ramadan is the fourth of the five pillars of Islam. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Literally meaning, to abstain. Psalm is a Semitic cognate to Syriac, Swem Sama, Hebrew, Psalm, and Giez, Psalm. Other languages The Muslims of Central Asia, Afghanistan, India, Iran, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Turkey use the words Rosa, Rosa, Roha, Oruk, which comes from Persian. While the Malays ethnic Indonesia, Southern Thailand and Southern Philippines. Definition Muslims are prohibited from eating, drinking from dawn to sunset It is considered time to begin fasting when a person standing outside can tell a white thread from a black thread. Fasting helps Muslims develop self-control, gain a better understanding of God's gifts and greater compassion towards the deprived. Fasting in Islam involves abstaining from all bodily pleasures between dawn and sunset. All things which are regarded as prohibited is even more so in this month, due to its sacredness. Each and every moment during the fast, a person suppresses their passions and desires in loving obedience to God. This consciousness of duty and the spirit of patience helps in strengthening one's faith. Fasting helps a person gain self-control. A person who abstains from permissible things like food and drink is likely to feel conscious of his sins. A heightened sense of spirituality helps break the habits of lying, gossiping, and wasting time. Fasting is also viewed as a means of controlling one's desires food and, drink, and focusing more on devoting oneself to God. Many Muslims have had food before the sun rises. Psalm also carries a significant spiritual meaning. It teaches one the principle of God consciousness, because when one observes fasting, it is done out of deep love for God and to learn self-restraint. As mentioned in the Quran, O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you as fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. In the Quran In the Quran, this practice is mentioned. O oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you as fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. Fasting for a limited number of days. So whoever among you is ill or on a journey during them, then an equal number of days are to be made up. And upon those who are able to fast, but with hardship, a ransom as substitute of feeding a poor person each day. And whoever volunteers excess, it is better for him. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. Quote, quote, the month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. So whoever cites the new moon of the month, let him fast it, and whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of other days. Allah intends for you ease and does not intend for you hardship and wants for you to complete the period and to glorify Allah for that to which He has guided you, and perhaps you will be grateful. Topic. Conditions Topic. Intention Nia. The intention Nia means resolving to fast. It is essential to have the intention the night before, night by night, in Ramadan. Topic. General conditions Throughout the duration of the fast itself, Muslims will abstain from certain provisions that the Quran has otherwise allowed, namely eating, drinking, and sexual intercourse. Quran 2 187. This is in addition to the standard obligation already observed by Muslims of avoiding that which is not permissible under Quranic or Sharia law, e.g., ignorant and indecent speech, arguing and fighting, and lustful thoughts. Without observing this standard obligation, Psalm is rendered useless and is seen simply as an act of starvation. The fasting should be a motive to be more benevolent to the fellow creatures. 
Charity to the poor and needy in this month is one of the most rewardable worships. If one is sick, nursing or traveling, one is considered exempt from fasting. Any fasts broken or missed due to sickness, nursing or traveling must be made up whenever the person is able before the next month of Ramadan. According to the Quran, for all other cases, not fasting is only permitted when the act is potentially dangerous to one's health, for example, those who are sick, elderly, or on a journey, and women who are menstruating, pregnant, or nursing are permitted to break the fast, but this must be made up by paying a fidya which is essentially the iftar and sahur for a fasting person who requires such financial help. According to the Quran and the Sunnah, if someone cannot afford fasting due to illness or traveling they are permitted to suspend fasting and continue at a more opportune time or condition of health. However, the question of those suffering a permanent disease has not been resolved. One view is that they can waive the obligation to fast if advised by a medical expert. Furthermore, it is held that they can provide a poor person with a meal for each day of fasting waived. Nonetheless, such a person must be willing to fast when in health. Muslim scholars have stated that observing the fast is forbidden for menstruating women. However, when a woman's period has ceased, she must bathe and continue fasting. Any fasts broken or missed due to menstruation must be made up whenever she can before the next month of Ramadan. Women must fast at times when not menstruating, as the Quran indicates that all religious duties are ordained for both men and women. The reason for this is because the Quran refers to menstruation as, "...say, it is a discomfort menstruation." According to Numan Ali Khan, an Islamic speaker in the United States, the reason for this prohibition is because of the pain associated with it. A Muslim woman may still do dhikr remembrance of Allah, and make duaa supplication to Allah during this time. Fasting is obligatory for a person if he or she fulfills five conditions: he or she is a Muslim; he or she is accountable, Islamic past the age of puberty; he or she is able to fast. He or she is settled not traveling. There are no impediments to fasting such as sickness, extreme pain from injury, breastfeeding, or pregnancy. <laughs> Breaking the fast and the consequences During Ramadan, if one unintentionally breaks the fast by eating or drinking then they must continue for the rest of the day and the fast remains valid. For those who intentionally break the fast by eating or drinking they have to make up for that by fasting another day. For breaking fast by having sexual intercourse, the consequences are Free a slave, and if that is not possible Fast for two consecutive hijri moon months, and if that's not possible Feed or clothe sixty people in need, during voluntary fasts, if one unintentionally breaks the fast then they may continue for the rest of the day and the fast remains valid. If one intentionally breaks the fast there is no sin on them because it is only voluntary. <inaudible> Breaking oaths and consequences If an oath is given and circumstances dictate that it must be broken or if the one giving the oath deliberately breaks it, one must offer expiation by freeing a slave, or feeding or clothing ten needy people with the average of what is needed for one's own family, or if neither of those can be done then a fast for three days is prescribed instead. <laughs> Beginning and ending In accordance with traditions handed down from Muhammad, Muslims eat a pre-dawn meal called sahur. All eating and drinking must be finished before the adhan for farj, the pre-dawn call to prayer. Unlike the Zuhr and Maghrib prayer, which have clear astronomical definitions afternoon and after sunset, there are several definitions used in practice for the timing of true dawn, al-farj al-sadiq, as mentioned in the hadith. These range from when the center of the sun is 12 to 21 degrees below the horizon which equates to about 40 to 60 minutes before civil dawn. There are no restrictions on the morning meal other than those of Islamic dietary laws. After completing the sahur, Muslims recite the farj prayer. No food or beverage can be taken after sahur. Water can enter the mouth, but not be swallowed, during wudu. The meal eaten to end the fast is known as iftar. Muslims break the fast with dates and water before Maghrib prayer, after which they might eat a more wholesome meal. According to some scholars of the Quran, the correct time to end the fast is instead at night and not sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Health effects 
Fasting as one of the alternatives proved to reduce the DPP-4 level and activate the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors and so, prevent osteoporosis. On the other hand, the circadian rhythm has a direct relationship with osteoporosis. This has been found by the biochemical markers, indicating that fasting at certain hours of the day, especially during those hours of the day which are recommended as part of the Muslim tradition Islamic fasting, is very effective in reducing the effects of osteoporosis. Topic. Believed benefits Fasting is said to inculcate a sense of fraternity and solidarity with the needy and hungry. Most importantly, the fast is also seen as a great sign of obedience by the believer to God. Faithful observance of the psalm is believed to atone for personal faults and misdeeds and to help earn a place in paradise. Psalm is intended to teach believers patience and self-control in their personal conduct, to help control passions and temper, to provide time for meditation and to strengthen one's faith. Fasting also serves the purpose of cleansing the inner soul and freeing it of harm. Some scholars, following the earliest understanding of the uses and objectives of the ritual of fasting strongly object to identifying mundane objectives of the ritual such as physical and psychological well-being. To them the ritual of fasting is purely a worship and should not be treated as an exercise mixed with worship. The objectives of the fast is to inculcate taqwa God consciousness in a believer. As mentioned earlier, fasting can also be observed voluntarily as part of the greater jihad. Topic. Detriments Fasting on a long hot day carries a risk of dehydration. However, if one is at medical risk of dehydration, which leads to serious consequences, then it is permitted to break one's fast. An increase of negative health effects are observed exclusively during the month of Ramadan due to fasting, such as migraines, tachycardia, severe headaches, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, circulatory collapse, and sleeping problems. Days Month of Ramadan Fasting in the month of Ramadan is considered fard. Days of oath If you swear or make an oath, for example, "'If I graduate with a good mark, I will fast for three days for God." Then common belief dictates that one should fulfill this. This type of fasting is considered obligatory. Breaking such an oath is considered sinful. <laughs> Days for voluntary fasting Muslims are encouraged, although not obliged, to fast days throughout the year. The 9th and 10th, or 10th and 11th of Muharram, the first month of the year. The tenth day, called Ashura, is also a fast day for the Jews Yom Kippur, and Allah commanded the Muslims to fast two days to distinguish themselves from the people of the book, such as any six days in the lunar or Islamic month of Shawwal the month after Ramadan Hijri. Fasting on Mondays and Thursdays is desirable if possible the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth day of each lunar month Hijri. The day of Arafa, 9th of Dhijja in the Islamic Hijri calendar. As often as possible in the months of Rajab and Sha'iban before Ramadan. First 9 days of Dhijja in the lunar Islamic calendar, but not for any who are performing Hajj the pilgrimage. Topic: <laughs> Days when fasting is forbidden. Although fasting is considered a pious act in Islam, there are times when fasting is considered prohibited or discouraged according to the majority of the Sunni scholars. Eid al-Adha and three days following it, because Muhammad said, "'You are not to fast these days. They are days of eating and drinking and remembering God,' reported by Abu Huraira. Eid al-Fitr It is also forbidden to single out Fridays and only fast every Friday, as Abdullah b. Amr b. al az said that he heard Muhammad say, "'Verily, Friday is a Eid holiday for you, so do not fast on it unless you fast the day before or after it." Fasting every day of the year is considered non-rewarding, Muhammad said, "'There is no reward for fasting for the one who perpetually fasts.'" 
This hadith is considered authentic by the Sunni scholars. The Quran contains no prohibition regarding the days of fasting. Topic: In polar regions. Nothing was said directly about the polar region and fasting. But there is hadith about al Masih ad Dajjal that proves that fast as prayers have to be estimated and done every 24 hours. This is the opinion of the Council of Senior Scholars in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In Tafsir Maruf al Quran, it is said that the Quran states that, During Ramadan, eat and drink until the white thread of dawn appear to you distinct from its black thread. Quran 2 187. This results that fasting is a duty for Muslims only when days and nights are producing otherwise fasting is not necessary. So the Muslims of Svalbard have to fast only when days and nights are prominent by the sun. If Ramadan comes in June, December when days and nights are not prominent by the sun in Svalbard, Norway they may leave fasting and then complete their fasting in March, September when days and nights are prominent by the sun in Svalbard, Norway. In Islamic law it is called Qadha. God says in the Quran, God intends every facility for you, he does not want to put you to difficulties, he wants you to complete the prescribed period, and to glorify him in that he has guided you, and perchance ye shall be grateful. Quran 2–185 Topic References Topic External links Fasting and Ramadan, complete interactive online guide Scholarly articles on the law of fasting in Islam Fasting in the Quran Comprehensive article and book collection on fasting and Ramadan Esoteric view on Psalm, fasting in Ramadan Islamic holidays and observances Time of start and end of San per city Health in Ramadan How fasting helps with self-control How to spend Ramadan Fasting 6 days of Shawwal, necessary? Psalm, the fast of Ramadan.